While futuristic technologies are becoming available in healthcare, patients often can't access them and the cost of providing care continues to skyrocket. However, artificial intelligence and health sensors are set to reshape how health insurance works. This is Bertala Meshko and you're watching the channel of the medical future. Current health insurance systems are simply not sustainable. According to OECD predictions, maintaining today's healthcare systems and funding future medical advances will be difficult without major reforms. In countries with private health insurance, certain treatments such as cancer care is so expensive that only the privileged with good insurance plans can afford them. In countries with socialized medicine, where everyone has access to basic care, new innovations are hard to roll out nationwide as the system as a whole cannot afford it. Here are five major ways health insurance can shape the future of healthcare. Number one, people are not motivated to stay healthy. Nobody gets reduced health insurance premiums if they live a healthy life. Healthcare is focused on treating diseases instead of educating patients on taking care of themselves. Even when the obvious negative consequences of lifestyle choices from smoking to obesity are proven, it's hard to persuade patients to stay motivated and maintain healthy choices. Many say that no one is motivated to change this, but that's not true. Health insurers and governments have ample motivation. Insurance companies lose out because they cannot gauge your well-being based on the rudimentary data they have on you. And governments lose because their healthcare bills keep climbing as long as you are not taking care of yourself. Number two, insurance is risky business without data. Health insurance is one of the riskiest businesses nowadays. Companies cannot get enough information to make fully informed investments in a person's future health. Though a patient's gender, age, and some basic details about lifestyle are known, insurance companies cannot measure any health parameters or lifestyle choices, so the value of their investment remains questionable. Number three, disruptive medical innovations will change the landscape. Insurance companies will certainly try to gather insight on their clients with technologies like wearable and implanted sensors and algorithms using artificial intelligence. Oscar Health's patients get Amazon gift cards as rewards for achieving their daily goals measured by a Fitbit activity tracker. But much more can be done. Today, patients can measure sleep quality, physical activity, stress and blood pressure and many other parameters at home. Health insurance companies are still struggling with how to capitalize on this. As these amazing datasets about our lifestyle become available, it is inevitable insurance companies will try to obtain them. This raises many questions about the privacy of patient information. But at some point, it is going to be inevitable if you don't want to pay a premium for the health insurance of those who do not take care of their health. Number four. A new health insurance or the rise of Dr. Big Brother. In a dystopian scenario, companies will only provide patients with insurance if they are allowed to access all of the patient's data. Based on this, companies will be able to either change patients' premiums or notify them about changing it soon based on lifestyle choices. Choosing a big steak instead of something more suitable for your customized diet or being too lazy to exercise will mean higher premiums. Whatever you do and whatever decision you make, it will have an impact on health insurance. Insurance systems might discriminate against patients if they have medical conditions that are determined to be predominantly genetic and not lifestyle related. Companies could require employees to provide genetic test results. The US law, Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, was meant to fight against such biases, but what if new insurance policies change it? Let's take a more realistic and optimistic perspective. As insurance companies can access the data coming from patients' devices, they can offer more personalized therapies and plans. They can reward those people who live a truly healthy life, although people who choose to keep on smoking and not doing exercises supported by an unhealthy diet would have to pay more to contribute equally to healthcare costs. 
This way, living an unhealthy life remains a personal right, but it would also become a luxury to balance out the huge costs they add to the healthcare system. And number five, avoiding the creation of a Dr. Big Brother is going to be a challenge. We must, at all costs, avoid a scenario where someone would control what we eat, when we exercise and when we lay down to sleep. Such level of control is against human nature, but so is paying for something collectively and getting no improvement out of it. When people keep up their bad lifestyle habits after getting a diagnosis, those living a healthy life will not want to finance the system anymore. A big challenge today is that the regulators are not at the forefront of innovation and they cannot hope to anticipate and regulate changes that they don't yet understand. Most patients, on the other hand, are either not aware of emerging technologies or don't understand their impact on patients' privacy. If I need to share my fitness tracker's data with my health insurance company in order to enjoy the rewards of living a healthy life and to have an equally compensated healthcare system, I'm happy to do that. The essence of this system would be a healthy balance. Companies do not need to know every tiny detail about me to know I'm living a healthier than average lifestyle, so I don't have to share everything in order to benefit from a reformed health insurance system. Technology will soon offer the opportunity for truly personalized care tailored to our genetic background and lifestyle. The future of health insurance would guarantee we each have access to it while, at the same time, keeping Dr. Big Brother away from the privacy of our personal lives. Thank you. Keep watching my videos to learn more about the future of medicine and stay up to date about the upcoming trends by reading my blog.